Okay, since we have a merchant right here, we might as well do our merchanty stuff first. Give me just one second here. Okay, this time I actually went and sold my mods as well, all the non-purple ones, and some of the purple ones too, when I could see that they're not that great. So I think we are ready to get out of here and, oh my god, tackle this trial again. Before we do that, um, yeah, before we accept the trial, see it's good now because it's actually daytime where I can see what I'm doing, but what I want to do is just look around the general landform I think. Okay, so we can see right here that it's... it's like an arena. The middle section is where the Thunderjaw is, and then on the outer sections... There's... I shouldn't use my weapons up here. God damn it. Be cheating. I don't have one accepted right now, though. I didn't even see the Watcher last time. I thought that we had to kill Ravagers, because one of the quests said that we had to kill a machine, right? Any machine. If we can find those Watchers for those quests, it shouldn't be that hard. Theoretically. Theoretically. <laughs> Alright. Um, well, I mean, just looking at it here. Yeah, it is what it is. It's an arena. I'm pretty much... Am I buffed up? Maybe I should get... Oh, I have three skill points. What should I get now? Call mount. Scavenger, fighting back. This might be good here. I'm not too sure. We'll try this one out. It's passive, which means less thinking on my part. <laughs> As for outfits, the best one for me here is probably... Would stealth be useful? I don't know because I don't think we're doing any stealth work here. Endurance and protection. Oh, but it protects against corruption the most. I should sell these too. I don't know why I still have them. One of them... <laughs> outcast. One of them was gifted to me by somebody, so maybe I should save that one. Spark worker heavy? Shock. This might be good because both the Ravager and the Thunderjaw have some type of shock attack, if I remember right. Okay. I'm back. Giving up on that one, are you? I'm not surprised. Blah, blah, blah. Pick another, if you're up for it. I am up for it. I won't leave until we do something, okay? I won't say everything, but we're not leaving without at least one blazing sun. Let's make that a goal. For this trial, you must use the cannon on a Ravager's back to mm -hmm. you can shoot the cannon off, or use that special spear of yours to take control of the Ravager and make it fight See, this for one... You. What oh, if a- and here's a special tip. Oh my god. What if a Ravager kills a machine not using its cannon? Does that count? <laughs> Very well. I don't know. Okay, well, first of all, there is a Ravager right here. Sure, maybe I can highlight that. But what I really want to know is where the Watchers are. See, I see another- Oh, right here. Dude, this would be so easy. If I can just get the cannon off that guy and then- Get that watcher. Is there another watcher around here? Probably. Probably. Does that Ravager want to come back? Hmm. The problem is though, when I knock the thing... Do I have the tear arrows by the way? I do. When I knock the cannon off the Ravager, of course, it gets mad at me. That's a pretty normal reaction. So... Do I have plans for countering that? Not at the moment. Can't say I do. How long do we get for this? I guess we'll find out when we get down there. Ah, I should have started it when the Ravager was closer to me. Oh, okay. I'll wait till it walks closer again. Hopefully this will work out. How much time do I got? Two minutes? Holy 110! Oh, this is a waste of time. This might be a waste of time. Where is the... Whoa! Where is the cannon, people? Did I not get it off? It's right there. I got one kill! Oh! 
beautiful! Beautiful. Uh-oh. That's not beautiful, though. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's my cue to get out of here when I see that. Hey, that was... That went... <laughs> that was the best it could have gone. The Ravager killed one of the Watchers without its cannon, and that still counted. And then I killed the other Watcher. Wonderful. Yeah... That's part of one of the other trials, too. Getting that to happen. I... I don't know how to feel about that, but I'll do my best. Hey, then in like 20 seconds, I already accomplished the first... My goal for today, getting one blazing sun. Not bad if I say so myself. What do you think? That run has earned you a blazing sun, Nora. <laughs> Thanks for your compliments. Uh, which one was which again? One of them was using Ravager to kill the Thunderjaw. One of them was using the Thunderjaw to kill the Ravager, right? For this trial, you must use the Thunderjaw's cannon to destroy Ravagers. You can shoot the cannon off, or use that special spear of yours to take control of the Thunderjaw and make it fight for you. I can oh, do and that. You may want to use tear blasting. The thing is, if I. If I control the Thunderjaw, which I haven't tried doing before, how do I make sure that it gets the Ravager? It doesn't seem like it matters if it used the weapons, uh, the, the cannon or not, but, hmm. And I can't do what I just did with the Ravager, too. What I did was I knocked out the cannon. Whoa, who is that behind me? I knocked down the cannon, and then I knocked over the Ravager itself so that I could override it, but I can't do that with the Thunderjaw, so... Trying to get its cannon while not getting killed might be a Good little luck. difficult here. You'll need it. Alrighty here. <clears throat> we got the Thunderjaw over there. So my goal is to try to override it, although I'm really not too sure how feasible this is. Especially since I'm not wearing the stealth outfit. How the hell do I even get up to it without it noticing me? Even that in itself is a problem. Come on. Ooh. What was that? Okay. After this, my goal is to attract the Ravagers. Nope. Oh, come on. Come over here. Come over here. Okay, that's one. I'm gonna count on you, Thunderjaw. And the other ones, where are the other ones? Is it, oh, come on, please! Thunderjaw! Oh, yes, yes! Ah! I'm counting on you guys, oh my gosh. Can you guys please do something? I can make it easier for my buddy here, if I just remove the stuff. Come on! Ravager! That's one! That's one! No! Come on, Thunderjaw! Not the Ravager! Please! Wait! It's attacking me now! Get it! Get it! I need to lure it closer to my friend! You got 20 seconds, I believe in you! 20 se- Come on, you're so close, buddy! You're so close! Whip it! Oh! Hey! Both of these trials were... Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I think it didn't help that the last time I was here, it was nighttime, so... I really couldn't see what the hell was happening, on top of trying to fight a freaking Thunderjaw. Mmm! Things are going swimmingly today. Save these for the trail. I was dreading this because I thought this was gonna take forever, but hey, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe not. Hey, Mr. Dude. You got some stuff for me? Some words of praise, maybe? That would be kind of cool. Gotta be careful about my health here. Holy crap, they hurt. Aw. If we can get a Thunderjaw friend. Oh my god, we are set for life. Myself in these trials. I should do it fair and square. I, 
I can't believe it. You've earned a blazing sun on the first try. I can't believe it either, to be honest. I know who you are, girl. Then use your spear to take control of two Ravagers. Get them to... I have to control two Ravagers? A fine choice. Or do I have to use the Ravager cannons? This seems a little bit difficult. Oh, but I can help them. I can help them with the Thunderjaw. But seeing how quickly... Oh. What if the Ravager dies? <laughs> Override Ravagers and kill the Thunderjaw. 240. So this really comes down to me being able to kill a Thunderjaw in 240, doesn't it? Okay, well... I mean, we can all start somewhere. Let's try marking. Oh, it's a little bit too far for me to mark. I just want to know where the Ravagers are so I can at least know where to mark them. Freaking heck. Okay. Since the Ravagers are on opposite sides of the circle, I think what I need to do is... Oh, I need to make sure that I freaking, like, override them too. I can't disturb them. But yeah, I gotta override one of them. Start attacking the Thunderjaw in the meantime, and then run over to try to get the other Ravager. That seems like it's what I gotta do. And this time, speed is actually of the essence, so let me review how to kill Thunderjaws efficiently and properly. I need to really make use of the canisters here. Oh, it's got tiny, tiny canisters on the back. Like, oh, not even the big orange cylinder. The data next says, where is it? Oh, it's like on its head or something? Oh. There's also a heart. Power cells. Shock and tear. Mmm. You know what? Getting the disc launcher might be key. Because we know that that's one of the fastest ways to kill the Thunderjaw. Oh! Oh! Shoot! Going down fast. Oh, well, okay. That's okay. Oh lord. 240? Oh, I messed up! I messed up! I accidentally let go of my override thing and. Oh my god. Restart, please! Restart, please! Dang it. One little mistake completely rattled me up. And now I won't get words of compliment on my first try. <laughs> That's fine. It's okay, everybody. Just calm down. Calm down. Don't you want to? I will complete it. Giving up. I know. Use. Very well. Okay. Okay. So, like I said earlier, my plan is to override one of them, start attacking the Thunderjaw, so that my Ravager starts attacking the Thunderjaw, and then try to go over and get the other guy. For the Thunderjaw, my tactic is to use its disc launcher. Other than that, well, we can think about it when the time comes. Okay, I'm gonna wait till this guy comes into a nicer position and then I will start. Shock? No, it's not weak against shock. Yeah. Okay, this seems like it's as good as it'll get. Oh, this might be a little bit too close. Mm, this is good. This is really as good as it'll get. Be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. Whoa! This freaking disc launcher thing is doing something! Jeez! Oh my god! Okay, you go keep doing that. My other goal, I still need to get the other Ravager. I can do that at the same time as trying to... Oh, do I... Did I have the wrong arrows this whole time? Like, what the hell happened? Where are the other Ravagers? Seriously. Oh, I need one badly. I can keep attacking like this, but ultimately... 
I'm losing a lot of time here just looking for the Ravager. Maybe I'll get... Oh! There is one, there is one. There is one. Okay. Come on. Get on up. This one's a little bit beat up. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Got that going for me. Somehow. Let's go, let's go. Oh, it still got its this thing, I think. No, it doesn't. It's here somewhere. That's a watcher. Where is what I'm looking for? Okay, that's a problem because I can't find the freaking. I can't find the thing. Oh no, come on. This is not good because. Oh, I don't think this is gonna turn out too well. I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna keep trying, but for future reference, we need to know where the disc launcher dropped. <laughs> I think when I'm overriding, it kind of gives me a little bit of protection, which is nice. Yep, there goes the blazing sun. Oh, the disc launcher is still there. That's why. Mm, maybe if I didn't focus on getting the Ravager just now, I could have done this because look at how low his health is. Pretty low. Pretty low. Really low. Um. Yeah, I think my... My goal here was a little bit off. I'll find a use for you. There- I didn't even use the disc launcher that time though, so I feel like... If I really just place my focus on the right things, then that wouldn't be so bad. I took three minutes. For a blazing sun, it's 2.40. Hmm. I just need to shave a little bit of my time. It should be okay. I really need to watch my health in this trial though, because everybody is just way overpowered. Way. This guy's gonna bitch about how much I suck again, but that's okay. I'll show you, I'll show you. And then we can get some new weapons too, which is gonna be nice. I don't have that many pots left. I can use some of these. Well now, you earned a full sun on that trial. Winning all those suns gives you access to elite gear at the Lodge in Meridian. Find Idaba there, and she'll help outfit you. One more. I know who you use. Good luck. Okay. So I think we just have to stick to a similar plan. Namely, trying to override one of them, and then start attacking the Thunderjaw. But instead of looking for another Ravager this time, I think I just need to start attacking the Thunderjaw, because the Ravagers and pretty much everything else they seem to congregate around the area where the Thunderjaw is being attacked. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna wait here until that guy comes back here to a nice position. Oh god. Okay. It's probably as good as it'll get. Oh, don't. Don't. Well, they're still surprised. <laughs> Oh, he's already angry. Somebody else is already angry, too. Oh, the Thunderjaw. Lord! Already? Already! This is just... All sorts of wonderful! Oh! There's another Ravager. But the problem with this method is that... Oh, it's recharging! Shit! Forgot about that completely. Oh, it didn't hit. Oh! Come on! You! Get overridden. Oh, you... That stupid thunder jaw. Okay. This is really as good as it'll get. It really is.
It dropped. Did it drop it? I don't see it. I need to get closer to see. Mm, it's right here. It's right here. Oh, no, that's a freaking metal shard. Is it anywhere here? Um, I don't see it, unfortunately. Okay, that's good. That's good. Whoa! What the hell was that? Oh, it goes down for such a short time. It's nuts. Oh, I see the disc launcher, though. Just let me... Let me... Let me slip in here. Please. Oh. My. Freaking. Oh, I can't roll with this. Right. Oh. Two minutes. Okay, let's get out of here. Because I'm I am sick of this place. Just grab the Thunderjaw loot and go. No. No. There's more Ravagers here than I thought there would be. Ah! Don't walk- No, you're not gonna kill me now, okay? Not now. Oh my god. Of all the times to kill me, now is not it. By the way, that full boost potion, it doesn't seem to work how I think it works. Cause even if I take it, it doesn't, um, it's like temporary. When I have low health and take it, it doesn't show that I have recovered the full health, if that makes any sense. Not that we need to care about that anymore, but yeah. Your performance on that trial has earned you a blazing sun. With all the suns you've earned, you're eligible for special gear at the Lodge in Meridian. Talk to Idaba, she'll help you out. Oh! Wow, thank you for your high praise of me. I have to go. As you like. Wait, I do wonder if you have any sort of Nicer, nicer dialogue. Nah, I'm not starting the trials again. Uh -huh. This guy is pissing me off. Level 46. Alright, well, you know what to do. First of all, we're saving. And then second of all, we gotta go back to Meridian. Because we just did all the trials. We can get some nice weapons now. Finally! Oh my goodness. Do you remember how 40 hours ago I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna do the hunting ground quests because I don't like time trials. No, I still don't. I still don't. But these were bearable, and the fact that they gave me an incentive pretty much meant that I had to do it, goddammit. But hey, we are finally rid of them. For good. We are rid of the bandit camps. We are rid of cauldrons. And now we're rid of hunting grounds. In fact, if we don't find any more new side quests, this is pretty much it. It's smooth sailing with the main quests from now on. No interruption to the story. But we'll see, we'll see. Usually when you progress more in the main quests, they should give you a little bit more side quests to do as well. Feels like I haven't been back here in a while. Oh, I should probably get some actual health. It's going down. <laughs> yeah, because my actual health is the... Oh, hang on. No, I have full health. I have full health. That's just the temporary health. Alrighty. This will actually be my last time going back to the Hunter's Lodge. With any luck. Find Those weapons I get, they better be the best things anybody's ever seen. Oh, by the way, did I not get a complete set of something somewhere? Nope. Nope, I'm still missing one little cup. Oh my god. How much do you want to bet this cup is the one that I didn't pick up? Oh, no, no, there's one here too. Okay, well, there's one over there. Screw the cups, okay? The cups don't give me anything. I don't care. Hmm, I thought we had a full set of something, but not quite yet. He tried to kill the Sun King. Hey, everybody! Your favorite thrush is back. Cherished brother. What can I do for you today? And Sunhawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Talana. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters. All people to follow. Yeah, I didn't want them to overlap, that's all. How are the trials going for you? Have enough marks for a weapon yet? Maybe. I believe I have enough here. What next? You brought in all the sun marks at once. You're going to make a lot of hunters jealous. Mm. Not that it takes much. 
I'm pleased to present to you a Lodge Blast Sling, a Lodge Rope Caster, and the Lodge Warbow. Congratulations, you're a Master Hunter of the Lodge. All I can give you now is encouragement. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love how they have specialized dialogue for me to see, because I brought them all in at the same time, as opposed to getting the half suns and then coming here and then getting the full suns and then coming here. Really neat. Nice little detail that shows that, hey, you know, just give us an extra little bit because we did it all in one go. We should probably take a look at these new weapons we got. These new sweet weapons. Oh, do I have to open a box? Yeah, I should be opening boxes. So I got a lot of these. Oh, I got a lot of these crappy... Yeah, those crappy... mods. Dang it. I probably gotta go clean up my inventory soon again. This is the Sun Pharaoh's Sun... Full Sun Reward Box. Hmm. Blazing Sun Reward Box. Do I only get the box for the first time I do it? Yeah, because I got a full sun the first time for the, the last trial. Lodge Blastling. Lodge Ropecaster. Lodge Warbow. These better be the most beautiful things anybody's ever seen. Ooh, they are beautiful. Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> Stats wise. Can I put these next to each other just so it's easier to compare? Oh, they give. Wait. Oh, this is a blastling. This is a sling. No wonder. I don't even have a blastling to begin with, so. Okay, let's slap some mods onto it. This one has. What is that? What do all those symbols mean? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna assume that there's something fire-related. Good for fighting groups of small enemies and powerful high-level machines, when stealth is not an option. I should try to use this a little bit more because... Yeah, we've put a lot of time into this so far. I've pretty much stuck to the same weapons though, so... Getting a good weapon for this category might be a good incentive for me to finally try it out. What do I do? Do I put more damage on this? Corruption? Oh, but it doesn't really add corruption to it, though. Okay, then I'll just add this one. Mm, another damage? How many do I have of those? Handling? Six damage? Tear? Not that many. I can put all my damage things on it. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, this might be a little bit too buff. Rope caster. I do have a shadow rope caster. Oh, hang on. The stats are... The base stats are the same, aren't they? Oh my god. Oh, well, let's see if we can modify this into something better. 44... Okay, 44. Did we just go with tear coils the whole time? Handling? Damage? What about damage? Oh, but the rope caster doesn't have damage anyway. Doesn't matter. The only thing we need is tear. Okay, how does that compare to this one? Uh, this one has slightly better handling, but this one has a lot better... tear. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to equip this one then. Oh, I can't do it here. I gotta go... Here? Tear Blaster? Tear Blaster is nice, but I... Mm, I think I use the tear arrows more, and it's taking up one whole slot, so I do really want to just... replace this with something else. Blastling? Let's try that out as well. Yeah, I think these two... Hang on, yeah. These two, the Hunter Bow and the Sharp Shot Bow are pretty much permanently in my slots. But everything else... War Bow! I was using the blue one the whole time. Yeah, let's slap some mods onto this. Yeah, this is... this is its cue. It's the cue for me to finally look at these mods more properly. Shock? Freeze? Oh, what is that? Is that last one corruption? Interesting. Hmm. Corruption arrows. What does that do? Well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> oh. Corruption. Interesting. I could just slap one mod for each attribute up here. But is that the best way to do things? 
I don't know. Or should I just focus on corruption completely? Nah, let's just do it this way then. Okay. Tear. And then freeze. Wait, is that not freeze? Oh, that's increasing, yeah. Hmm. Well, we can give that a try, but it'll probably be better if I focus on one or two of these. Yeah. Well, okay. I'll leave it alone for now. Do I want to equip that, though? I don't have room. Yeah. I know what the warbow is like, so I'm tempted to leave it behind, but I'm curious about the corruption arrows. Because I've never tried them before. I need to sell this crap. I'm full capacity. Is there a merchant around here? Mm, maybe not here. Oh, hey, Talana. Do you have anything to say about me getting all the sun boxes? Thinking about my cousins. It's something that I don't expect her to have, but if they do, that would be that would be pretty awesome. Oh my god, have I never been up here before? This area is locked. It's not what I'm looking for. Talana? I have been accepting trophies all day. How are you? Oh, you know, another day, another parade of machines to defeat. <laughs> Trade you. <laughs> She's got a lot of um, paperwork now, huh? Well, congratulations, Talana. I should get going. Thank you, Aloy. Despite the Nora. <laughs> <laughs> May you always take your prey. Thank you, Talana. Could you recommend me to the nearest merchant, though? That would be absolutely awesome. If not, I'll just have to walk around until I find one, which shouldn't be too bad. Right over here. There's one more location that we haven't seen yet. The Spire. Yeah. I feel like we'll definitely get to go there in a main quest, but so far, everything's been taking us pretty far up north, so I'm a little Back bit worried. Back from the wilds. Find any Banuk relics? Oh yeah, don't I have... You ready? Let's trade then. I think I have sets of this, right? Oh yeah, I do. One. One. Punishment and confess. Better be good. Just traded my freaking one-of-a-kind artifacts for this. Oh! But the you're a merchant too. Baby. You're a merchant too. So... I'm gonna sell you some of my old stuff. Farewell, Warbo, which had no mods on it. Oh my god, how did I live like that? Sling? I have a Shadow Sling, so I don't need this one anymore. Rattler? I don't even know why I still have this. Blast Sling? Don't need that. Okay. Rogecaster? Meh. Am I gonna get a better spear? It kind of bothers me that everything is purple, except for this one. Okay, so we're gonna go with this setup for now, but make a mental note. I'm making a mental note to remember to use the corruption arrows, because they seem... they seem kind of interesting. Come on back if you find any Banuk goods. You there, Outlander? I've actually just been assuming that they are corruption arrows, but I have no clue. They could be something harvest related too. Whatever. Okie okay, dokie, okay, okie okay. dokie. What now, what now? Back to the main quest? Go to the location that Silence indicated, which is Sunfall, the Citadel. Somewhere we haven't really been. I was under the impression that Sunfall must have been somewhere here. I thought this whole area here was Shadow Karja territory. But nope, nope, it's actually here. Hmm. Before we do that... Nah, we'll probably come here sometime, right? There is a... There's something interesting here, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm convinced we will. It's fine. It's fine for now. So let's head on over here. Uh, Can I not try? Oh, right, I can't travel there because I haven't been there yet. What's the best way for me to do this? That sunstone rock. Black wing snag. I can come here. Walk all the way down this path. Get this one. Get the metal flower while we're at it. I don't really care about the cup. 
Well, I mean, we could get it anyway. But yeah, let's go do that. We'll start here, and then we'll just walk all the way over there. Alright, sounds good. <laughs> 